Hello, beautiful beings. I'm Sarah, and I'm here to encourage, inspire, and empower beautiful souls like you to be the best version of yourself. In today's video, I'm going to talk about three ways that you can find inner peace right now. So let's get started. The first thing that I want to talk about today is gratitude, gratitude, gratitude. When I was having trouble and I was in a dark, dark place, um, and I've been there a few times in my life, um, usually what pulls me out of it is gratitude. Um, just even thinking about the small things of why you can be grateful. One thing that really helped me a lot was journaling what I was grateful about. So when I wake up in the morning, I would write down three things that I was grateful for. And then at the end of the day, reflect on the day and find three things throughout the day that I was grateful for. And you could start off with things like, I have a house, I have a bed to sleep in, I have water to drink, I have food to eat. Um, and recognize the things that you do have. Recognize the things that you already have in your life because you already are abundant. I mean, the fact that you even exist is a miracle. It's a one in 400 trillion chance of even being born. So that in itself, as I said, is a miracle and is a reason to be grateful. You woke up today. That's a reason to be grateful. You have a body, you have a mind, you have a soul, and you have fingers and you have toes and you have senses. We should be grateful to be able to see the beauty in the world, to smell the beauty in the world, to taste the beauty in the world, to hear the beauty in the world, to feel not just emotionally, but physically. And even feeling is something to be grateful for, even if it's bad feelings, because if we never had negative feelings, we would never be able to appreciate the good feelings. Also being grateful, the fact that you just have the ability to watch videos like these. I mean, think about how many people in the world don't even have access to any kind of technology to be able to even watch these videos. So just being grateful, just being grateful for what you already have is so, so powerful. So now I'd like to talk about number two. Number two is remember, a healthy body equals a healthy mind. It's so important to take care of your body. And the number one thing that I would tell you is to breathe, just breathe. So often when we're stressed out, we hold our breath. I know I'm so guilty of it. Sometimes I will be so stressed and have so much anxiety. I feel like there's an elephant sitting on my chest and I just can't take a breath. And then I find myself, so take a breath. Because lack of breathing causes lack of oxygen, which lack of oxygen to your brain. And without oxygen, you cannot have rational thought. You have lack of clarity and you can't clear your negativity if you're not breathing. So do that with me. Let's take a breath together. And we're going to breathe in. And breathe out. And that's all you have to do. And if you'd like to go deeper, there's all kinds of breathwork exercises that are out there. And we can do that someday in another video. But just remember to just breathe. Be still and breathe for a moment. Because oxygen can be a wonderful thing for our bodies. The other thing that I would like to add to this that I feel like is very important is movement. So moving your body. Um, whether that be cardio exercise, you can do strength building exercise, you can do yoga, you can do running, you can do walking. Some people like to dance, whatever you need to do to move your body. Personally, I love yoga. For me, that's how I wake up and I start my day every single day and just getting up and moving my body. I might be tired and down and not feeling well, but as soon as I do a yoga practice, I feel awake, I feel alert, I feel like I can take on more. I feel stronger, not just physically, but mentally. And feeling strong physically is important as well um, because I think that that just is, it goes together. So taking care of your body. And then lastly in this category would be what you eat. So making sure that you're putting healthy food into your body. Um, try to stay away from packaged or boxed meals, trying to eat as fresh as what you possibly can. Um, I know that's not the easiest for everybody, but just being mindful of what you put into your body is really, really important. So now I'd like to move on to number three. So this is something that you can also do right now that doesn't take anything special that you need. Just simply accept and appreciate where you are right now in your life on this journey. 
Remember, you are exactly where you are supposed to be. It may be hard to hear that, especially if you are not in a very good place right now. Um, but remember, it's how we grow. Our experiences are creating who we are. And a lot of times a negative experience is is a springboard for us to be able to move into something and someone even greater. And understanding what you've learned through the journey is very important and very impactful. So remember, hardships equal growth and flip it into something positive. What could I learn from that? How can I grow from that? How does that make me a better person? And learning to appreciate those hard times in life. Because if everything was good, then we wouldn't really... I don't think I don't think that we would appreciate it as much. So those lows are what makes the highs feel even that much higher. And remember that if you're at the bottom, you're only going to be able to go up and you're going to be able to grow. And then something that I've learned here lately is I'm I'm new at at this. I'm new at making videos. I'm new at producing content. I'm new at putting myself out there and being vulnerable and and putting myself out into the world in hopes that my story will inspire someone else to find their path and to grow. And I allowed fear to hold me back, the fear of what could go wrong, the fear of all the bad things that could happen. And instead of thinking about that, become excited for all the good things that can happen, all the things that could possibly become of stepping out of your comfort zone and doing something different. And, and being brave and being adventurous and trying something new and you never know. It could end up being the best thing that ever happened to you. So I hope that you take these three things and you can use these, like I said, right now. It takes no special effort. It doesn't take any special equipment. It doesn't take any money. It doesn't take anything. It just takes you. So to recap, the three things that you can do right now to help find inner peace are number one, gratitude, gratitude, gratitude. Find a way to appreciate what you have right now because I'm sure you have at least one thing, if not a hundred things in your life that you can be grateful for. It's easy to allow the negative to outshine the positive. Number two, healthy body is a healthy mind. Breathe, get that oxygen into your body. Move your body on a daily basis and be aware of what you're putting into your body. And then last but not least, appreciate where you are in your journey. Realize that this is where you are in this moment, but this is not a permanent thing. The way that you feel right now is temporary and it can be better. You just have to allow yourself to find that peace and to find your path and to love and accept yourself. So with that, I hope that you take these three things and I hope that you're able to apply them. Let me know how it goes for you and let me know if there's anything, any other topics that I can talk about that would be helpful for you. Much love to everybody, beautiful beings. Mwah. Love you. Until next time. Goodbye.